well, how do you dance? I think that <laughs> was the you question. Got a sneak preview there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, have you ever wondered how men really dance or what they're really thinking? <laughs> well, we have an instruction manual, and it is from these guys. This is Dan and Mike's guide to men and 10 secrets that every woman should know from two guys that really know everything. Welcome to Sonoran Living. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks We're for having us. Being here. You guys it. are really, really fun. I mean, Thanks. we've been talking to you. <laughs> um, let me just start real quick. What made you guys come up with a book like this? I mean, do you really think you know it all? <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. We don't know it all. But Mike and I are professional coaches. By That's what we do for a living. Okay. And so over the past 10, 15 years, we've been hired by men, you know, 35 to 55, and talking about their lives. And they start opening up and talking about their relationships, the communication gap between their partners, their, their girlfriends, their wives, and or both. Mm -hmm. And so we started putting it together. And we did, we've done a program for men. Okay. We started doing a program for women all over the country. And it took off. And so, you know, we really, the book's about empowering women. It's about empowering women to choose the right man to understand what men are really thinking and to break down the communication gap between the frail ma male ego and the female. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Get them to communicate more effectively with each other, obviously. Right. What, what are the, the top three things that, that <laughs> men and women just can't communicate on? Well, we, we call these taboo subjects. Taboo subjects. Okay. I mean, a lot of people hear the word, but they don't know what it really means. Taboo means the things that people are not talking about, period. So, obviously, sex is a big one. You know, how sex in terms of frequency, you know, diversity, things that are around their intimacy relationships. Obviously, money is a big one. People say money is the root of real divorce. That's not true. It's really about communication. Right, talking about the money. Talking around the money. Talking around the money, yeah. right. That's a big one. I mean, of course, you're going to get into things like people's fears. We talk about, Dan talks about the fragile male ego. That's okay. one of the big things. A man's not going to come out. We call it the F word. Feelings. Okay. Men don't want to talk about their feelings. Right, right. Why? Because, because it makes them seem less of a man? Yeah, because, you know, we're supposed to be the, the breadwinners and the guys that take care of everything and the rocks. And so for me to come up to you as my partner and say, honey, I'm, I'm not feeling great about myself. Or, yeah, that's you true. Know, I just, you know, you're going to look at me like I'm a sissy. So we really guard our feelings. So we teach women how to communicate with men so they can open up and feel safe. And so those are things in the book. It's really an instruction manual for women. So you back to the thing about what don't people talk about. One of the things we came up with that when we do in our live events called Ask Parties mm -hmm. is a, a term called sexpectations. Okay. So that's a huge thing. You know, yeah, people go into relationships. Yeah, let's dive into that here real quick. <laughs> you know, you, you, man and woman get, get connected, you know, the love and the lust, and they, everything's great, and they get married. But they, in, in the meantime, they didn't talk about sex. They didn't talk about money. They didn't talk about love. And so well, when you say you didn't talk about sex, you mean what's there to talk about? Well, I'll, I'll give you an example is um, frequency. We did certain, in a lot of our surveys we do at our events, we'd ask men and women, how often do you expect to have sex per week? Now, we know what the national averages are compared, you know, what comparatively is the speaking. Average? The average, the average married couple, actually okay. married couples are having sex more than singles, believe it or not. Really? The average couple's having sex about one, about every week and a half throughout the year. Okay. That's, about, that's the averages. But when you when you do surveys of all types, male, singles, and divorce, you find you find out that there's a gap between the expectations of a man and what the expectations of a woman, and usually the men want sex more. So that's why the men are complaining in the Married locker men. rooms. Yeah. Well, no, men, no, in, general, men in, general. in general. Men in general. Trust me. We're, we, 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 you know that. You know that, right? I do. Yeah, we, some of our that best, was the first thing I learned in the book, not. Some of our best research is when, when people don't think we're researching, just sitting in a steamer and listening to a bunch of guys talk on a Saturday, talking about their sex lives and what they're not getting right. at home. Right. So the women are hearing, oh, all my man wants is sex, and the guys are hearing, oh, all my woman wants me to do is talk about my feelings. So there's this disparity, right. and the expectations are off. So that's what we want to do is help people break through that. So you think once we understand it, we can change it? or? Well, we give women actual tools to talk about. So we, come up, we came up with a scale. It's called the sexual appetite scale. Okay. So if you don't talk about sexual appetites and hypotheticals, I mean, if you're dating a man who's got a sexual appetite of a three, uh -huh. and you're a nine, that's a problem. Yeah. Big I time. mean, and it might be uh, everything's great for the men, but you know talking about what could be your sexual appetite and we tell women on how to talk to men about it in a third-party story okay because if you have to come up to a guy and say hey honey we're not being intimate enough he feels really small right. <laughs> no pun intended oh. <laughs> yeah. so it's not a good thing okay so. <laughs> we have 30 seconds we no. could talk about this all no. day long real quick uh, the word cougar gets tossed around what is a cougar mm -hmm. well but we've got to talk about our party at the Jackrabbit okay, Lounge. Okay. Jackrabbit Lounge, this Saturday night, okay. we're having a, an event. It's an exclusive event by invitation only, so you can RSVP at AskDanAndMike.com. Okay. The Jackrabbit Lounge here in Scottsdale from 8 to 10, so make sure you get in there. And we're going to talk about things like 
cougars and okay. sex expectations and sexual appetite. One of our big, big audience members is the cougar market. You know that 45 plus yes. looking for a younger man. We get a lot of cougars at our events. Okay, we are we're out of time. I'm what? So, but I know <laughs> you didn't book the rest of the show. Um, but maybe we'll have time at the end. So you guys this just kind of like foreplay, right? I know. Okay, <laughs> I would love to have you on the show the whole time. All right, the book again is called Dan and Mike's Guide to Men: Ten Secrets That Every Woman Should Know from Two Men That know it all and you know what I'm really thinking they know everything that there is to know about men they should right and you can find more information on our website and you can get it right there sonoranliving.com all right it's time to transition